Everybody hear me? Okay, cool. Uh, it hasn't sunk in yet, and it probably won't. Um, but I'm very excited to be part of this organization. Um, I'm connected with the coaching staff, Coach Bowles, Coach Caldwell. Um, I'm, I'm excited to get to work. Uh, well, you know, when I saw the uh, when I saw the area code, I was just like, oh, okay. I already knew, I already knew because I was just there about a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I was talking to Coach Bowles. You know, it was just like, you know, talking to you know a mentor or something, someone you really look up to, and it's, it's, he's a player's coach, and it's an honor to play for him. How about that with Joey and Zeke, man? Three and four. That's crazy, you know? And I used to be roommates with those guys. So if you could have, when we first got there, if you could have told us that we we're going to be first round draft picks, we probably all would have laughed um, or even won a national title either. So um, I'm happy for them, Eli and Taylor. Um, and uh, I'm excited for all of those guys and for the guys who are, you know, going to get picked here, you know, for the next couple of days. They didn't sell me on that. I was the lowest rated recruit, so they didn't have to. I had to fight for my offer, so I didn't really. Uh, they didn't have to sell me on anything. It was more I had to sell them on why I'm good enough. No, my grandmother cried, uh, which I, I knew. Uh, I knew she was gonna cry. Uh, I don't know if my mom cried. She might have when she was before she went downstairs, but I, I didn't cry. Yeah. Yeah, Eli, yeah, me and Eli, he's like, don't cry. I'm like, I'm not going to cry, man. No, don't do it, man. Eli, are you excited to have a former teammate close by? Right, you know. In fact, we play in the same stadium. Uh, so uh, it's great, you know. Um, you know, M Mama Apple, Eli's mom, she'll be right there too. So, you know, my mom will have somebody to go stay with and hang out with when she comes and visits. It means a lot, you know. And when I was there, when I'm on my visit, you know, they had a wall full of fans and, uh, and just the historic background that they have, um, and the fans really care. So um, it means a lot, you know. Uh, they, you know, just having that that that, that trip that I had was uh, it was real cool. It was laid back, you know. We didn't really talk about football. It was just going around meeting people and, you know, you know, starting to build a relationship. And now we can build on that relationship. Yeah, Devin De Devin Smith. Yeah, D Smith. I've actually talked to Devin the most out of any a former Ohio State player, this whole process, I was asking him so many questions because I know Devin cares. And Devin was like a big brother to me, even at Ohio State. Even he was on offense. Um, I, you know, I connected with him and I followed his footsteps and he was a playmaker. And I, you know, I guess a little bit of that rubbed off on me on the defensive side. And um, you know, him, and I saw him there and he was, he was just rehabbing and he, he was coming along, so. Yeah, I mean, we always we had yeah we had always like joke back and forth, you know. It's like, yo, hey, maybe I end up here in New York. I'm like, oh, hey, we'll see, you know. But uh, it happened, you know. That's the that's the crazy part. It was kind of like spooky a little bit. Uh, I'm sure he, uh, he's called me or texted me. I haven't even checked my phone. It's just been buzzing the whole time. It was cool, you know. Uh, just you know, I could just see Eli. I couldn't see Joey and Zeke. They were on the other side of the room. And Taylor was also, but I could just see Eli, and Eli just has that straight face, like he always does, just you know, just staring at you. But um, <laughs> he's, <laughs> it was just you know, uh, it was calm, you know. We weren't, we weren't worried, you know. We had worked hard to be here and be have this opportunity, so um, we we're all fortunate, and everybody's blessed, and a lot of happy families today in Buckeye Nation. <laughs> no, no, no. I, what, what I gotta get nervous for, man? Is the percentage of even being here, I, I, I didn't have to be nervous. And I was just more happy that my guys got to go and that they found a home um, and that, you know, a team really wanted them. And that's, that's, all, that's all I wanted to see. Oh, they develop players there and they develop uh, – First round talent there at Ohio State. They have a great coaching staff, and everything that we do there is just professional. You know, you've heard, you know, I've heard from these coaches that it's literally like a, a miniature professional team uh, on a college level. And just the way we go about our business there um, is second to none. The facilities, everything, Coach Mick, uh, Coach Mick will get you right. So you know, if you're a recruit um, and you're a little hesitant, you know, don't don't think twice. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, regardless of how, how late I went, you know, I'm just fortunate to get picked, to be honest with you. So. Oh, yeah, this little heavy thing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Man, hook up. No, uh, I'm actually the only guy who wore it. I wore uh, maybe Zeke wore his. I don't know, but Zeke, wore his. Zeke, yeah, see, Zeke wore his. But um, yeah, my finger was getting a little tired a little bit. I'm like, good grief! I forgot how big this was. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, this uh, this is just a reminder of all the hard work, um, and this is a result of all the hard work, and this will be uh, engraved for uh, for history for the rest of the rest of time. Oh, was Zeke? I mean, I was the best dressed guy here. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, <laughs> come on. Did you see my mom out there? Did you see her dress? She looked gorgeous. No disrespect to any other other guys' moms, but, you know. Yeah. Does the all parents or just my parents? Though I say family. I mean, having our coaches there was a great thing. I saw all our coaches there. Um, it, it it was great because we were all rooting for each other and we've all been in the trenches with each other and this it was just it was so much deeper than just being a, a, a simple football team. It it was a it was a genuine family and it'll forever be a family. Do you think repeat that, I'm sorry. Absolutely, I got some family there. Um I can do the big city as I'm not I'm not afraid whatsoever. Uh we'll see. I'm sure she'll be just fine, but um, I mean, I have family there, so it's it's great. And that family there in uh, New, New Jersey, in Annie Apple, you know, she said, "Come over anytime." And Coach Coach Ash, former coach at uh, at Ohio State, he said, "Come down, come to the pool." I'm like, I hope it's warm enough, Coach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great. You know, he um, Darrell's. Established his established himself, you know, especially across the league, you know, Revis Island and all that. And you know, I'm gonna definitely learn from him, just him being a veteran, just uh, how to go about, you know, taking care of my body and how to go about, you know, this NFL business. And so, um, I'm just gonna pick everybody's mind, you know, just get a good feel and just do the best I can to contribute. Uh, well, tenacity of of my f uh, former teammate Ryan Shazier. Um, definitely his tenacity, uh, the intellect of Luke Keekley. Um, I love the way he plays the game. You know, he always has guys in the right position, and he always has, he always has guys ready to play. Um, and I also with uh, James Laurinaitis, um, with him, he's just a tackling machine, and he just knows the game really well. And just for him being there at Ohio State, he's, you know, taught me some stuff here and there just about, you know, what to look for and whatnot. Um, so I've picked his brain before, so I definitely model my game after him. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you.